Hey there, brain health enthusiasts. Do you ever stop to think about how your daily habits might be impacting your most vital organ, your brain? We often take our cognitive abilities for granted, assuming that our brains will just keep chugging along no matter what we throw at them. But the truth is, our everyday choices can have a profound impact on our brain health, for better or worse. In today's fast-paced, always-connected world, it's easy to fall into patterns of behavior that can slowly chip away at our cognitive function. From the foods we eat to the way we sleep or don't sleep, our habits can either support our brains or put them in serious danger. But here's the good news. By making a few simple changes to your daily routine, you can give your brain the TLC it deserves and protect it from the ravages of modern life. And the best part? You don't need a fancy degree in neuroscience to do it. In this video, we're going to dive into 10 common habits that could be putting your brain at risk and what you can do to break free from them. We'll explore the fascinating world of neuroscience in a way that's easy to understand and even easier to apply to your own life. No boring lectures or complicated jargon here, just straight up actionable advice that you can start using today. So, whether you're a busy professional looking to sharpen your mental edge, a student hoping to boost your academic performance, or just someone who wants to keep their brain in tip-top shape for years to come, this video is for you. Get ready to take a journey into the inner workings of your mind and discover the simple, science-backed strategies that can help you protect and enhance your most valuable asset. Let's dive in. Number one, skimping on sleep. First up on our list of brain-damaging habits, skimping on sleep. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who has time for a full eight hours of shut-eye in this day and age? Between work, family, and social obligations, it can feel like there just aren't enough hours in the day to prioritize sleep. But trust me, your brain is begging you to reconsider. You see, sleep is like a nightly spa treatment for your brain. During those precious hours of slumber, your brain is hard at work, clearing out toxins, consolidating memories, and repairing neural pathways. It's like a team of tiny maintenance workers tidying up the clutter and making sure everything is in good working order for the next day. But when you consistently shortchange your sleep, you're essentially telling those maintenance workers to take a hike. And that's when the trouble starts. Studies have shown that chronic sleep deprivation can lead to a host of cognitive issues, from impaired memory and attention to increased risk of depression and anxiety. So, what's going on in your brain when you're running on empty? Well, for starters, your brain's ability to clear out toxic proteins like beta amyloid, which has been linked to Alzheimer's disease, is significantly reduced. Your hippocampus, which plays a key role in memory formation, also takes a hit, making it harder to learn and retain new information. And if that wasn't enough, lack of sleep can also throw your brain's emotional regulation out of whack. The amygdala, which is responsible for processing emotions, goes into overdrive making you more reactive to negative stimuli and less able to control your impulses. But here's the good news. By making sleep a priority, you can give your brain the rest and restoration it needs to function at its best. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night and try to stick to a consistent sleep schedule as much as possible. Create a relaxing bedtime routine, avoid screens before bed, and make sure your sleep environment is cool, dark, and quiet. By giving your brain the gift of regular restorative sleep, you'll be amazed at how much sharper, happier, and more resilient you feel. So go ahead and hit the hay. Your brain will thank you in the morning. Number two, multitasking madness. In today's fast paced, always connected world, multitasking has become a badge of honor. We pride ourselves on our ability to juggle multiple tasks at once, believing that we're being more productive and efficient. But here's the truth. Multitasking is a myth, and it's doing your brain no favors. You see, when you think you're multitasking, what you're actually doing is rapidly switching your attention back and forth between tasks. And every time you make that switch, your brain has to pause, reorient, and refocus. It's like trying to read a book while someone constantly flicks the lights on and off. It's disruptive, disorienting, and ultimately counterproductive. But the cognitive costs of multitasking go beyond just decreased efficiency. 
Studies have shown that chronic multitaskers have reduced ability to filter out irrelevant information, making it harder for them to focus on the task at hand. They also tend to have poorer working memory, which is essential for holding and manipulating information in your mind. So, what's happening in your brain when you're trying to juggle too many things at once? Well, it all comes down to your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for executive functions like attention, planning, and decision-making. When you multitask, you're essentially overloading your prefrontal cortex, asking it to constantly switch gears and manage multiple streams of information at once. Over time, this chronic overload can lead to what's known as cognitive fatigue, a state of mental exhaustion that makes it harder to concentrate, solve problems, and think creatively. It's like running too many apps on your smartphone at once. Eventually, the whole system starts to slow down and glitch. But here's the good news. By embracing single tasking and giving your full attention to one thing at a time, you can give your prefrontal cortex the break it needs to function at its best. Start by identifying your most important tasks and blocking out dedicated time to work on them without distractions. Use tools like the Pomodoro Technique to break your work into focused 25-minute intervals with short breaks in between. And when you do find yourself getting pulled in multiple directions, take a moment to pause, breathe, and refocus your attention on the task at hand. By training your brain to be more present and focused, you'll not only get more done, you'll also feel calmer, clearer, and more in control. So, the next time you find yourself tempted to juggle multiple tasks at once, remember, your brain is a marvel of evolution, but it's not meant to be a circus performer. Give it the respect and focus it deserves and watch your productivity soar. Number three, digital overload. Let's face it, we're all guilty of spending too much time glued to our screens. Whether it's endlessly scrolling through social media, binge watching the latest Netflix series, or checking our email for the hundredth time today, our digital devices have become an inescapable part of modern life. But all that screen time could be taking a serious toll on your brain health. You see, our brains evolved to process information in a very different way than the constant stream of digital stimuli we're now exposed to. In the past, our ancestors had to focus their attention on one thing at a time, hunting for food, scanning for predators, or navigating through unfamiliar terrain. But now we're bombarded with information from all sides, notifications, alerts, ads, and endless feeds of content. And here's the thing. Our brains aren't wired to handle this kind of constant, fragmented stimulation. Studies have shown that excessive screen time can lead to a host of cognitive issues, from decreased attention span and memory problems to increased risk of depression and anxiety. So, what's going on in your brain when you're lost in the digital world? Well, for starters, the constant novelty and unpredictability of online content can be highly addictive, triggering the release of dopamine in your brain. Over time, this can lead to a kind of reward-seeking behavior, where you find yourself compulsively checking your phone or refreshing your feed, even when you know it's not good for you. Digital overload can also disrupt your brain's natural rhythms and sleep patterns. The blue light emitted by screens can suppress the production of melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep, making it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep. And when you're chronically sleep deprived, your brain's ability to learn, remember, and regulate emotions takes a serious hit. But here's the good news. By being more mindful of your digital habits and setting some healthy boundaries around screen time, you can give your brain the break it needs to recharge and reset. Start by designating specific times of day to check your email, social media, or other online content, and stick to those boundaries as much as possible. Use tools like app blockers or website filters to minimize distractions and keep yourself on track. And when you do find yourself getting sucked into the digital vortex, take a moment to pause, breathe, and reconnect with the physical world around you. Go for a walk in nature, have a face-to-face -face conversation with a friend, or engage in a creative hobby that doesn't involve a screen. By giving your brain some much needed downtime from the digital world, you'll be amazed at how much more focused, creative, and emotionally resilient you feel. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for your phone out of habit or boredom, remember, your brain is a precious resource, 
and it deserves to be treated with care and respect. By being more intentional about your digital habits, you'll not only protect your cognitive health, you'll also open yourself up to a world of real-life experiences and connections that no screen can ever replace. Number 4. Sedentary Lifestyle In the words of the great philosopher Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. But in today's world, it's not just life that's moving fast. It's also our bodies. With the rise of desk jobs, car commutes, and Netflix marathons, many of us are spending more time sitting than ever before. And that sedentary lifestyle could be putting our brain health at serious risk. You see, our brains evolve to support an active, mobile lifestyle. For most of human history, we were constantly on the move, hunting, gathering, exploring, and fleeing from danger. But now, we spend most of our waking hours parked in front of screens or behind desks, barely moving a muscle. And here's the thing, our brains need movement to function at their best. Exercise increases blood flow to the brain, delivering essential nutrients and oxygen that keep our neurons firing on all cylinders. It also stimulates the production of BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein that supports the growth and survival of brain cells. But when we're sedentary for long periods of time, our brains start to suffer. Studies have shown that sitting for extended periods can lead to decreased blood flow to the brain, which can impair cognitive function and increase the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. It can also lead to inflammation in the brain, which has been linked to depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. So, what can you do to counteract the negative effects of a sedentary lifestyle on your brain? The answer is simple. Move more. Aim to get at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, like brisk walking or cycling, most days of the week. If that seems daunting, start small. Even just a few minutes of movement can make a big difference. And don't forget to break up long periods of sitting with short bursts of activity. Take a quick walk around the block during your lunch break, do some stretches or yoga poses at your desk, or try a standing desk to keep your body and brain engaged throughout the day. But exercise isn't just about protecting your brain from the negative effects of sitting. It's also about actively enhancing your cognitive function. Studies have shown that regular exercise can improve memory, attention, and executive function, the mental skills that help us plan, organize, and make decisions. It can also boost your mood, reduce stress and anxiety, and even stimulate the growth of new brain cells. So the next time you find yourself tempted to skip your workout in favor of another episode of your favorite show, Remember, your brain is counting on you to keep it healthy and strong. By making movement a regular part of your daily routine will not only protect your cognitive function, you'll also open yourself up to a world of mental and physical benefits that will keep you feeling your best for years to come. Number 5. Junk Food Junkie Ah, junk food. The ultimate guilty pleasure. Whether it's a greasy burger, a sugary donut, or a bag of salty chips. We've all indulged in the occasional, or not so occasional, junk food binge. But while those processed treats may taste good in the moment, they could be doing some serious damage to your brain health in the long run. You see, your brain is a complex and demanding organ, and it needs a steady supply of high quality nutrients to function at its best. But when you fuel your body with junk food, you're essentially giving your brain a big ol' serving of empty calories unhealthy fats, and refined sugars, none of which do your cognitive health any favors. Let's start with sugar. While a little bit of the sweet stuff can give you a quick burst of energy, too much sugar can actually have the opposite effect on your brain. Studies have shown that a high sugar diet can lead to inflammation in the brain, which has been linked to cognitive decline, memory problems, and even an increased risk of dementia. But it's not just sugar that's the problem. It's also the unhealthy fats found in many processed foods. Trans fats, in particular, have been shown to have a negative impact on brain function. These artificial fats can disrupt the structure and function of brain cell membranes, impairing communication between neurons and increasing the risk of cognitive impairment. And let's not forget about the lack of essential nutrients in junk food. Your brain needs a wide range of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to function at its best. Think leafy greens, colorful fruits and veggies, 
whole grains, and lean proteins. But when you fill up on junk food, you're missing out on those brain-boosting nutrients and instead consuming a lot of empty calories that do little to support your cognitive health. So, what can you do to break free from the junk food cycle and give your brain the nutrition it needs to thrive? The answer is simple. Focus on whole, minimally processed foods that are rich in essential nutrients. Aim to fill your plate with plenty of colorful fruits and veggies, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats like avocados, nuts, and fatty fish. And when you do indulge in the occasional treat, try to choose options that are made with whole, natural ingredients and minimal added sugars. A square of dark chocolate, a slice of homemade banana bread, or a small scoop of ice cream can satisfy your sweet tooth without derailing your brain health. But perhaps most importantly, don't beat yourself up if you slip up and indulge in the occasional junk food binge. Life is all about balance, and a little bit of indulgence is totally okay, as long as it's not the norm. By making small, consistent changes to your diet over time, you can give your brain the nourishment it needs to function at its best, and still enjoy the foods you love in moderation. So, the next time you find yourself reaching for that bag of chips or sugary snack, remember, your brain is counting on you to make smart choices that will support its health and well-being for years to come. By fueling your body with whole, nutritious foods, you'll not only protect your cognitive function, you'll also feel more energized, focused, and mentally sharp in everything you do. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground in this video, from the dangers of skimping on sleep to the brain-boosting benefits of exercise and nutrition. We've explored some of the most common habits that can put your cognitive health at risk and what you can do to break free from them. But here's the thing, making lasting changes to your habits and routines is never easy. It takes time, effort, and a whole lot of self-compassion to replace old patterns with new, healthier ones. And that's okay. Progress is always better than perfection. So, as you start to incorporate some of these brain-boosting strategies into your own life, Remember to be patient with yourself. Celebrate the small victories, learn from the setbacks, and never stop striving to be the best version of yourself, both mentally and physically. And if you ever feel like you need a little extra support or guidance along the way, don't hesitate to reach out to a trusted friend, family member, or healthcare professional. Taking care of your brain health is a team effort, and there's no shame in asking for help when you need it. So, here's my challenge to you. Pick one of the habits we've talked about in this video and commit to making a small, positive change in that area of your life. Whether it's going to bed 30 minutes earlier each night, taking a quick walk during your lunch break, or swapping out that sugary snack for a piece of fresh fruit, every little bit counts when it comes to protecting and enhancing your brain health. And if you're feeling really inspired, why not share your brain-boosting journey with others? Leave a comment below and let us.